Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm doing a three looks, one palette with the new Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. Now if you missed my review on this palette, I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards up here. Um, but I really do enjoy this palette. I think it's unique. I think you've got a wide range of colors and finishes and like looks that you can work with. So I was really inspired to do three looks, one palette with this one. I did one look with like the pinks and the purples to really brighten up and do some nice neon colors. I did one look with all of the reds down on the bottom row right here. That is look number two. And then the look that I have on right now, look number three, is a more natural kind of everyday look. And I used mainly the shades on this top row right here for this look right here. So before we jump into the looks, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so I know if you want to see any more three looks, one palette in the future. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I do post a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into look number one. Hi guys, welcome to look number one of this three looks one palette. I already have my base on, foundation, primer, concealer, you know, blah blah blah. I don't have my lips done, I want to see where the eye look really takes me before I decide that. I did prime and I set the primer with the shade Sugar Cane. It's a little too dark to necessarily be like a nice priming color and it pulls pretty red, but it'll work for this look because I really want to jump in to the pinks and the purple. So thinking of maybe doing like a uh, like a halo eye but well let's see let's just jump in so i'm gonna start with cavity which is that bright barbie Ooh, suit i just dipped once super pigmented boop there you go that's all you need i'm gonna tap that off Okay, now that I have that built up on the like outer corner, I'm going to take a little bit more of cavity and start building it in, building it up on the inner corner just to begin that halo. I'm not sure what color I'm going to pick for the middle. Leaning more towards fairy candy floss, but not fairy floss. Now I used that color already, but I think it will look beautiful in the middle right here. Once that is built up, I'm going to start blending it out a little bit more with the brush I was using before. Okay, I'm going to take a Sigma E25 and dip into Root Canal, which is this nice bright purple. And start doing the same thing, not quite as high as I brought to Cavity, but start building it up on the outer and then start building it up on the inner corners. I'm not worried about being super precise at the blending right here on the lid because I am going to cut it and do a halo right here in the middle. But I'm just going to keep blending out the purple. Bring it up so you can see it a little bit over where I'm going to put the cut halo. And that is why I did bring the shadow quite a bit high. You can see it's almost to my brow bone because, well, A, hooded lids, so when I actually relax, you can still see the shadow. And B, once we cut the crease, because the, the middle halo is still going to show up a little bit above my hood. Okay, and with a clean, big, fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend it out real quick. Okay, so with my concealer and glitter glue, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the halo in the middle, put on a little bit of glitter glue, and jump into candy floss. Okay, so as it happens, I definitely 100% like had this eye turned out better than this eye, but that's just how it is for me. Normally, this, this eyebrow, this eye turns out a lot better than this one. So, 
I'm liking the look so far. I want to go ahead and throw on liner and lashes before we move on to the bottom lash line. Okay, so I am back. Liner and lashes are on. My lashes gave me the hardest time today, so they're not on perfect. You know when you have those days where like your eyeshadow is looking amazing, but then like you mess up everything else? It could be anything. Like it, one thing looks great, but then you mess up everything else. So anyway, also threw on a lip. This is the shade Rose Matter from his little nude minis collection. And let's jump into the lower lash line. So I do want to do the hot pink all over. So I'm just going to take a tiny brush. Okay, I'm going to take that same brush and dip into Root Canal, the purple color. And I just use that on the outer third. Just kind of blend them in, smoke it out a little. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with just a little bit of glucose, which is the white shade in the palette, just to brighten it up a little tiny bit and just blend that in. Okay, and this is it for look number one. I'm loving the halo eye. I love the purples and the pinks, and I just like how the whole eye is brought together. Hi guys, welcome back to look number two. For this look, I really want to jump into the reds and then this gold shade down here, which is... Well, actually, I think I want to go with Donor, which is like this nice, like, deep gold up here on the top row. So, I've already got my base down, did my brows, I've got just like a nude lip on. So, I'm going to start with Prick, which is that really bright brick red right here in the corner. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M573. And I'm just going to start building that up a little bit in the crease. And like before, that's blending out very nicely. Just make sure you tap off the excess because you do get a lot whenever you dip your brush in. And I am taking that up pretty high, almost to the brow. Because I do want to go in with another deeper red a little bit lower. And then I want to do that gold all over the lid. Itchy. Okay, so I'm going to take my Morphe M433 and I'm going to dip into... Let's use Cherry Soda. I haven't dipped into that shade yet, so it's the one right here. So, just, ooh. A lot of pigment. Make sure you tap that off. And I'm just going to blend this into the crease below the prick shade. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the inner part of the lid with some concealer before I go in with that gold. So I'm going to go in with Donor, that nice deep gold from the top row. Oh, I'm loving that so much. Okay, so I'm just going to cut out the other eye and do the same thing. Ooh, so I'm loving that so far. I did get a little bit of fallout down here from the gold, so I'm just going to wipe that away real quick, throw on some liner and lashes, and I will be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have lashes and liner on for liner. I just used the Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black, and then these lashes, I'm actually loving these. It's my first time trying them out, but I'm loving the shape, I'm loving the look. They are the Adele Faux Mink 811s. Um, they come in a pack like this. I got this at Walgreens. They were like, buy one, get one half off, or buy one, get one free. And I just love the shape. They're really like small and they taper and they blow out on the ends. Very cat eye. Loving it. Okay. So for the bottom lash line for this, I want to stick with that lighter red shade, which is prick all over the bottom lash line. 
So I'm gonna take like a really small, like detail fluffy brush, take prick and just start to blend it out. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with an even smaller detailed brush. This is the Morphe M213 itty bitty um, dense brush. So I'm gonna take the shade Cherry Soda just on the tip and just barely blend that in right on the outer corner. Add a little bit of depth to the bottom lash line. Okay, so this is how look number two turned out. I am loving it. I love the gold. It's a really deep, like multifaceted gold, different from a few other ones that I have in my collection. I love how it pairs with the reds. And it really is a simple look. If I wasn't like talking through it, I could have done this in like five minutes. And I only had to use three shades. Hi guys, welcome to look number three. So as usual, I already have my base on, I got my brows on, I primed and I set the primer with the skin tone or closest to skin tone shade from the Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I haven't done the lips yet. I want to see how the eye look turns out before I pick a lip color. So let's go ahead and jump in. Since I've already done most of the bright colors in this palette, I really want to go in with this top, like, more neutral um, row just to see if I can get, like, an everyday kind of... Not totally neutral, but like I'm gonna call it a glam neutral. So let's see. First, I'm gonna jump in with a mixture of sugar cane and cake mix. These two right here. And I'm gonna use those in my transition. Also, ignore my nails. I know one already popped off. <laughs> but I do like these. I'm deciding, like, I don't know if I wanna glue it back on and stay with this set for a little bit longer or if I want to switch to a new set because I did just pick up two more colors of the the nail set that I really love so I'm thinking about just letting these fall off over the weekend and then putting on like that new set before next week and I am bringing this just a little high because I am going to be putting on false lashes today Okay, now that that's all blended out, I'm going to go in with, you know what, next I'm going to go in with Tongue Pop, this pink right here. I think I'm going to use that one to build up the crease a little bit and then go in with O Positive. And then for the lid, I really want to use Sweetener, which I did try once off camera and I loved how it looked, so I'm going to try it one more time. It's like this pinky gold shimmer, so... Let's go ahead and jump in first with Tongue Pop. I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M441. Just get a little bit on there. So we're really going for a more like pinky nude look today. I'm not going anywhere special today. I'm just going to get my hair cut finally. Like, like it's like if you, if you could see my split ends right now, you would slap me. It's bad. Okay, I like how that looks. Now I'm gonna take another blending brush. Let's go with the the Sigma E25, tried and true. And I'm gonna jump into O positive, which in the pan, O positive looks like really gray, but when you swatch it out. It's actually like a rosy, like deep color. So I think it'll match this look really nicely. So I'm gonna just pick up a little bit on the E25. I'm gonna go ahead and coat both sides and then tap off the excess. And then just bring this into this outer V and just pat down the color and then blend it up. So looking nice so far. I don't think I'm gonna cut this out um, with concealer just because I'm going for like a more like natural kind of neutral look. So I'm just gonna get a glitter glue, do the inner portion, and then I'm gonna jump straight into sweetener as the glitter, or not the glitter, but as the shimmer for the lid. Okay, so before I move on to liner and lashes, I'm just going to go ahead and pop in a highlight on the inner corner. I'm just going to take Glucose, that white shade, 
on the very corner and just pop just a little bit on the inner corner just to brighten this up a tiny bit. So I'm placing it with the brush and then I'm just going to blend it out a little bit with my finger just to lighten it up. Okay, so that is the look without liner and lashes. I'm going to go ahead and line with just my typical black liner, throw on a pair of false lashes, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just put on liner, lashes. I am loving these lashes. They are the Velour Silk Lashes in another shot of Wispy. Love them. Okay, so I'm going to keep it simple for the lower lash line. I'm just going to go in with a combination of the two transition colors, Sugar Cane and Cake Mix, and just bring that all the way in. And then I might deepen up the outer corner with a pop of color. Let's see how this looks. So I'm just going to mix up Sugar Cane and Cake Mix. So just in the outer V, I'm just going to go in with the shade Intravenous, which is like this really deep brown color, brown red. I'm just going to deepen up right by where the wing is because I like how it just helps change the eye shape a little bit just by tying in that lower lash line. So I'm just going to put it right there with a really tiny brush. And then do the same on the other side. There we go. And that is look number three. I'm loving the more like natural look to it. If you wanted to, I was thinking about doing this, but I wanted to keep it more natural. You could go in with one of the pop of colors on the lower lash line. I think the bright pink cavity or the purple root canal will look really pretty on the lower lash line. And that is look number three. Thank you so much for staying throughout this video. I hope you liked the looks. Let me know which one was your favorite down below. I would love to hear your feedback. Do you like more colorful looks or do you like more neutral looks like this one? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. I would love to do more three looks, one palette kind of videos. They're a little bit more labor intensive, but I like how like creative they make me get when I'm looking at a palette. So I really do like that. I think the next one I want to do is going to be with one of my Juvia's Place palettes, so keep an eye out for that one. If you want to catch that video, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video, and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!